Welcome back students, Mr. McCoy here. Today I've got a real easy one for you. We're going to learn about escape sequences. Some of you already learned uh, some of the stuff back on lab one where we did ASCII art. So you may have noticed that there are certain protected symbols in Java, such as the double quotes. Those are reserved for starting and ending string literals. And then you have backslash, which until now you had no idea why that was protected. You just knew that back in lab one when we did ASCII art, you weren't allowed to use a backslash character inside of your string literals. So if you tried to print something like this, hello backslash world, you get an error. It doesn't like the backslash being there. Why is that? Well, first let's talk about why we even need escape sequences at all. Uh, well, there might be some special characters that you want to include inside of your string literal, but you don't know how to type them. For example, what if you were producing a table and you wanted to print player 1 and then tab over to the next tab stop and player 2 and tab over to the next tab stop and player 3. If you typed in player 1 and then hit tab, uh, you might not get the results that you wanted or if you typed in player 1 and then the word tab, you certainly wouldn't get the results you wanted. So this isn't going to produce the output that you are hoping for. What about in this one? We want to print line 1, line 2, line 3. Well, at the end of line 1, we basically hit the Enter key. Until now, you would have to create multiple print statements. But what if you wanted to do it all in one print statement? What if you wanted your string literal to actually include the Enter character? Line 1, hit Enter. Line 2, hit Enter. Line 3, but this doesn't work. What about another example? What about those quotation marks we mentioned earlier? Let's say we want our program to print some dialogue, like Mr. McCoy yells, Salsa is good! So is this going to work? System.out.print, Mr. McCoy yells, Salsa is good? No, that's not going to work, because whenever it sees this quotation mark, these double quotes indicate the end of this string literal. That's the beginning one, and that's the ending one. So it thinks that's our literal, and it doesn't know what all this stuff is. It doesn't realize that we want to include the quotation marks within our literal. So how can we do this? There's got to be a way. So that's why there are escape characters and escape sequences, and that's where the backslash key comes into play. The backslash key is a special character that tells Java that we want to do something special. So if we put in the backslash into our string, then we follow it up with a character saying what special thing we want to do. So the character that immediately follows the backslash tells Java what special thing we want to do. Here's our escape sequences table. Now there's actually more escape sequences than this. Uh, I just wanted to show a couple of the more useful ones. So if you do a backslash and then put a T, then you're saying the special thing you want to do is to insert a tab in that location. A backslash with a B says insert backspace, as in the same as hitting the, the backspace key on your keyboard. Slash N says insert a new line. That's the same as hitting enter on your keyboard. That could be pretty useful. We have slash single quotes, slash double quotes, and slash slash. So if you wanted to actually insert a backslash character, you have to put slash slash. Why would you do that? Well, the first backslash says I want to do something special. The second backslash says the special thing I want to do is to insert a backslash. So I know that seems kind of weird, but a double backslash equates to a single backslash. So let me show some examples of that in use. If you want to print, I am an OK programmer, we want those quotation marks to be inside of our string literal. So we have to escape them out whenever we type the quotation marks. Proceed it with the backslash to say insert quotation marks. What if you want to include a backslash in your output? Well, the backslash is reserved, so we need to use a special character for that. So we use backslash backslash. And check this one out. This is super useful, and I use it all the time, and you should too. Slash in means go to the next line. So you used to have to use two different print line statements to print hello, goodbye on different lines. Now you can do it in a single print line statement, just including the 
this is basically including enter. You're saying type enter between hello and goodbye, and it moves down to the next line. Uh, it's called the new line character. You'll use it a lot. That's really all there is to it. If you want to learn more about escape sequences or just hear the exact same stuff that I told you from a different person, maybe you don't trust me, check out this video right here. Uh, now let's take a look at your lab. As usual, I have the Word document open. I have BlueJ open with a brand new project file called Lab 7. We have two classes, Practice Problems, and one called Dead or Alive, which is your second the app that you're going to create second. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, I'd like to point out that in this lab there are there's no uh, scanner input from the user. There are no variables. This is uh, just taking a step further um, the lab one ASCII art stuff that we did. Um, it's just going to use print statements and uh, using escape sequences within them. So no need for any variables in here. Number one using Java print statements, write a print statement that exactly produces the following output. Okay, system.out.println. So I'm starting off with just my shell. I have no text inside of my print line statement, but I'm ready to put my literal in there. And check this out. I'm going to copy this and paste it in here just to save me some time. Now notice that the literal is no longer displaying as green. That's because it's not seeing it as a string literal anymore because of issues going on with my uh, escape sequences. Remember that backslash is a special character so in order to display a backslash I need to escape it. In other words put another backslash in front of it. So that's a forward slash. I don't need to do anything with that. That's fine. This one is a backslash and therefore I need to put a backslash in front of it to escape it. This one, there's two of them, so I'm going to put a backslash in front of the first one, a backslash in front of the second one, and here's the three of them. Put a backslash in front of each one, and so our literal turns green in that Java is now happy. Let's compile, and that looks correct. Notice even though I typed six backslashes, only three display. That's because half of those just indicate that they're you know, doing the uh, escape sequence for a backslash. All right, I forgot to number my problem. Hopefully you didn't. Problem two, write the code to exactly produce the following output using one print statement. So we're limited to a single print statement. And whenever I say print statement, that means a print or print line. I consider those to be in the same family, so that's fine. We just have to, we can't use a second one of these in problem two, but we everything we do we have to put inside of here. So let me just do that same trick. Let me copy paste this. See what happens. Okay. Now let's see if we can clean it up. Notice that this part is green in that it thinks our literal string begins here and ends here. Well actually we don't want it to end here. We want to include those double quotes. So I'm going to use the backslash to escape that sequence so that the quote is included in my string. This message is in quotes these quotes I also want to appear. So I'm going to escape that out to say include this in my string. Now rather than hitting the enter key and things going down here I'm going to put in a backslash in indicating new line and then remove that enter key to get it to go up there like that. So that slash in will insert that enter that we wanted. This one isn't Let's go ahead and escape that uh, single quote. It's actually not necessary to escape single quotes inside of a double quoted string, but uh, whenever we get to uh, single quoted characters later on, you'll understand why I did that. And then we close out with our uh, double quote to indicate that we've ended our literal and close parentheses and semicolon so that we've ended that print line statement. Let's take a look at it and see if I got that right. This message is in quotes. This one isn't. All right, that's good. Uh, see how the, the solution to problem one and the solution to problem two are butted up against each other? Maybe I want to include an extra line between them. Used to be we would include something like this 
to say include a, a space in between them and that works just fine or now that we know about that slash in escape sequence I'll just go up here to the end of this literal and put a backslash in to achieve the exact same result and now that uh, backslash in goes down here and because it's a print line statement they then moves another one down so it's kind of like at the end of printing this literal we print or we go to the next line and then we go to the next line so uh, pretty handy in, uh, in trying to condense things down as much as possible alright let's see anything else in here that I want to talk about uh, no it's pretty straightforward uh, down here when you get to dead or alive you have to produce this entire table with just a single print statement so you're gonna have one print statement and all of this stuff is going to be printed inside of that so your entire program is basically gonna be one line of code uh, which is not necessarily good programming but it's uh, good practice for learning escape sequences good luck Enjoying my class? Smash that like button! Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitface. But hey, that's just a tutorial. A computer science tutorial. Thanks for watching.